right, so today, because it's nice and it's sunny, you never know in the spring, is a run day. So for this morning's warm up, I'm just gonna give you a few quick dynamic stretches. Um, it should take five to 10 minutes to do all of these, depending on how sore you are and how much tension you have in each muscle to get through of all these. So before you go out on a walk, before you go out on a run, before you do any type of high intensity cardio like running um, or biking or something like this, this is a great workout. So hopefully you can save this for your uh, warm ups for running and we'll go through it. So before doing this, what I do, um, if I'm running right when I get up, I get dressed and I try to warm up the same mobility. So you can go back and look at some of our mobility stretches that I do right when I get up. Those are kind of a combination between dynamic stretching and yoga, just to get your body woken up. I'll post that in the stories and we'll also have a lot of extra videos. Okay, so to get started, you want to warm up your body regularly, and we're going to pretty much do all of these standing. So for the first one, we're going to go through, we're going to do knee pulls. So on these, you're essentially just, for all of these, you want to keep your core nice and engaged and your body engaged here. And we're just going to go through a few, like 30 seconds at each one. I'll go through quickly. Hey guys. And you're just going to pull your knee up and in. So these are great. I'm going over running warm ups. So up and in. A nice 30 seconds of these knee pulls. We're going to be warming up all of the muscle groups, the large muscle groups you need for running, for walking, for cardio exercises. And those essentially like all of them are where we stay tight when we sit in our hips, in our shoulders, in our chest. So really waking up the hips area and engaging the glutes are going to be important here. Okay, so for the next one, we're going to do something called tabletops um, and these essentially are going to wake up the back of the hips and into that middle glute area which is hard to reach okay these are also called um i mean they're just hip openers so you're going to take your foot and your ankle and your knee you want to lift your leg at the same time as far up as you can i can lift further but don't only lift until you get a nice light stretch one and here you can also come up on your toe when you do it if you want to warm up your ankle and you're just nice pull. So you engage and then pull and you should feel it all the way back here and into that middle glute area, which I definitely feel after my lift workout yesterday. You can see in my stories, I did a lot of squat and glute engagement, so I am tight there. So 30 seconds of these. The faster you do this, the more you'll warm up your heart rate. All right. So about 30 seconds of those. You can go for longer if you're really feeling it. All right. And next, we did this. We did the front. We did the back here. We did the middle. We're gonna get the quads now. Running is a really quad dominant sport um, or engagement. Same thing with biking and stuff like that. So we really want to wake up those quads. So for the quad stretches, you essentially engage the core and pull back. So you're gonna lightly pull. Put your hand on your foot and you're gonna push your hip forward and engage that quad and let go here, here, all right? So 30 seconds of that. You really want to engage here and push that hip forward. It's a slight movement, pushing that hip forward. When you push your hip forward, you'll feel that stretch. You don't want to stretch too hard. It's just a nice light stretch and it'll start opening up. Just stretching that out. All right, great. Next, we're gonna really open that joint with leg sweeps. You see this a lot in my workouts, again, opening up those hips. Here, with leg sweeps, what you wanna do is you don't wanna go back and forth where you're using your back like that. You wanna engage your entire core. So you wanna keep this nice and straight and nice and tough, and then your core will move back and forth, okay? So back and forth like that really keeping that core tight it's just hip movement if you're using your back you go further you don't want to do that really engage your core and you'll feel it really moving in that hip all right same thing with the other side 30 seconds of each i'm going a little faster you can take your time with these wherever sore again just like all these warm-ups wherever is tight wherever you're having issues, wherever you kind of feel it, just keep working in there. And you don't have to do 30 seconds, that's a good minimum. You can go ahead and go longer if you're having issues in that area. 
All right, so here we wanna really open up those hips. So we just did leg sweeps. We're gonna start at the front. We're gonna take a step back into a lunge and you're gonna twist over to the side. So really engage here, twist over to the side and back up. Nice. And then twist, you're twisting on the other side that you're stepping back. So you get this nice long stretch in here. All right. So step back and twist over. Back and twist over. Back and twist over. 30 seconds or more of this. You should really feel this in that side there. Engaging all those hips. These are opening up all the joints you're gonna need for running or moving. Nice job. So 30 seconds of those should be good. All right, here, what we tend to forget to open up is the back of those calves and the back of those quads. So we get running, we get all tight. So here's a funny looking one. I'm gonna do it to the front and to the side so you can see they're sweeps. So standing straight, you're essentially gonna put one foot forward, little bend in this knee so you can get this heel on the ground and leg up. And then you're just gonna bend down, scoop forward and up. Other foot, out, forward and up. Really stretching the back of those quads and hamstr I mean, hamstrings and calves. So here I'll show you to the side. You're essentially just gonna put your foot here. Nice straight movement. And sweep down and back up. Staying here on this side, down and back up. Do a little more forward. This really stretches out those calves, which I need to stretch out very clearly, and hamstrings. We forget to do that. Nice bend over. Keeping that back straight. The key to keeping your back straight here is looking forward on the sweep. If you look forward, you'll essentially keep your, so you wanna look long and out, and you'll keep that back straight automatically, okay? Same here, we're gonna do standing one leg kicks. So another thing we need, well, first I need some water. Making sure you get enough water and hydrated before you go out. Especially in the morning when you're dehydrated, it's really smart. If you run, you know this by accidentally doing it the wrong way. Okay. So standing one leg kicks sound really easy. They're gonna be balance and glute engagement. Okay, so for here, you essentially want to pick up, I'll show you this side, pick up one leg, bend forward, and then kick out. Here you're engaging your glute, okay? And then back and down. If you need something to hold on to, that's okay. You wanna engage that glute right here at the top and back down. Same thing on the other leg. And on the out, really engaging those glutes and back down. 30 seconds of these. All right, I'm gonna show you from the front here. And out, back and down. Same thing on the other side, back and down. If you need a rail or something to hold on to, that's okay, the key here is glute engagement. Especially if you're sitting all day at a desk or otherwise in your car. A lot of us are sitting all day because we're kind of stuck inside, even if we're moving. Engaging the glute so that the hip is nice and stretched out and the glute is engaged when you're running is really important. So another thing we're gonna do and we're gonna add are gonna be our um, glute bridges. These are very easy to engage the glute. So these are what activation exercises are called. You're activating the muscle you wanna work when you work out, okay? So you're just gonna lay on the ground. Feet will be 90 when we go up and you're gonna squeeze your glutes and back down. Squeeze your glutes and back down. This is really all you need for engagement here. But if you want more of a challenge, because we're not trying to challenge, we're just trying to engage, but if you need more of a challenge, you can put your foot up on a bench when you do it, okay? And you can use one foot. So engaging the glute like that is okay. Um, I would keep it regular because we're just engaging. So both feet on the ground, you can see they're 90 degrees, engaging those glutes, right? And push up. So 30 seconds of these, you wanna squeeze at the top. So we've done knee pulls, 
we've done our tabletop. So we got our knee pulls to get our hips in, tabletops to get the back. We did our quad stretches. We swung. We did all of that hip movement, right? And then we engage. We um, stretched all the way down the back of the leg with those sweeps, and we engaged our glutes with those activation exercises. The next thing we want to do when we go on a run is open up our chest. I usually do this standing, but I'll just show you sitting so you can see a little better. Our arm swings, right? So same as we usually do. You can swing your arms however you need to. Open them up back and forth move movement you want to really open up that chest right a lot of times people do i think it's called eagle pose i'm not sure i don't i'm not a yoga instructor but essentially moving your arms around and then opening back up as long as you can same thing so you're stretching both the back and the front all right that's a good movement to open up and then once you do some open up movements to open up that chest from sitting from laying down in the bed from whatever you're doing you want to do some arm circles, right? As much as you need to, front, back. I think I did that opposite, but you know what I mean. Back and front. And then standing, we want to actually go through the running movement. So if you're going to run, if you're going to do something, you want to get those movements regular. So it's very important in the run is that arm swing, right? So when we do, an, uh, when we're running, this movement gives us power in our legs. So you wanna really, if you're not moving your arm very much because it's not opened up, you're not gonna have as much power. So just opening up those arms, I'm putting my chest way up and I'm just opening them up. Looks, it's very exaggerated, but just making sure my arms will swing, right? Oh, that feels really good from yesterday. And you can, a lot of people do opposite arm strings or ones like this, but you can open it up. You want to go nice and big and fast nice all right now we want to just do a few more so for running my running what i like to do is pull my foot up to my butt okay it's you can google pose running it's a certain way of trying to do it i try to work on it um so essentially my last one is my arm swings with butt kicks where i'm actually pulling my knee i mean my heel up to my butt so this is going to be the last one and you're essentially just going to do 30 seconds of this. I have my hair. Yes. Keep it going. Opening it up. And you go through that. So that wraps us up. That's essentially all we're going to do today. And then I immediately, if I need a little extra, usually I need a few more quad stretches before I go out on my run. I'll take a few more of those. Whatever you need, opening up. And then I'm going to go out my run, which is tough because now I'm sitting here talking to you. I don't want to go. Don't give, your time to, you don't give yourself time to think about it. Just grab a cup of water, warm up. I usually warm up outside if it's nice or right by the door. And then I go out for a run. So I hope you have a great day. I hope I have a good run or at least I can make it back. And I'll see you here tomorrow morning for another warm up. Thanks for joining.